Ah, I think I accidentally hit the off button when I was doing the previous video. Anyways, this is a pickup, right? Part two of the previous video. So anyways, we were just getting into the ingredients and the nutritional supplements or values and all that stuff. Basically, it's pretty much zero across the board, except I give it 100% for flavor, taste, and aroma. So just to quickly recap from the previous video, if you're just clicking on this one, go into my video playlist. You'll see the video just before this one. But to summarize, this is Africa Life's chamomile tea, right, which is just pure chamomile. You get 60 bags in one or 60 tea bags in one uh, thingamajigger, resealable, so you can lock in the freshness. This was the Africa Life sleep tea. As you can see here, and this also has chamomile, but it also has a bunch of other great stuff in it. There's your ingredients right there, so you get that part. And then basically what I did was I just poured some boiling water into both about about an equal amount, give or take, you know, like an ounce, here, ounce more. Uh, but basically the, they've been steeping now for about, I want to say about three minutes. And on the back of the label in the instruction section, you get the idea right here. It says drink regularly before bedtime, sleep uh, steep one tea bag in eight ounces of hot water for five to seven minutes. Enjoy your warm cup of tea and sweet dreams. This is the difference between the two. Just to recap the previous video, I usually take maybe one chamomile during the day, sometime like mid afternoon, maybe like right before mid afternoon snack or mid afternoon nap time. Oh my God, perfect. But it just calms me down. I might take one or two with me camping, backpacking. Right. So like after I finish my camp chores, I've, you know, I've gotten the water for the day. I've, I've gotten all the wood for the campfire or whatever. You know, this is a great way to just sit around and just be lazy and enjoy nature and just be in a calming, relaxing mood. If you have company over coming over, you know, midday or whatever, you just want something relaxing and peaceful. That's when I have the chamomile. Nighttime before I go to bed, this is a whole different story. So this I'll usually take about two hours before I go to sleep. And basically the goal here is to just kind of put me in that mood to cozy up with some nice, you know, warm blankets in bed and just basically pass out and have a nice restful night's sleep. So that's when I'll take uh, the sleep version. They do also make other versions. There's a focus one. I believe there's a peppermint only one. Lots of different teas to choose from, from Africa Life. I love this company. In terms of best bang for the buck, right? High, highest quality I can find at the lowest possible prices and then passing that information on to you. Honestly, I have to say, this is definitely a good bargain. For 60 bags of tea, somewhere in the ballpark of like $14. Black Friday special, I believe it's down to like 11 bucks. So $11 for 60 bags, 60 quality bags of tea that's not a bad deal i mean that's actually a really good deal so so just to kind of you know compare this like apples and apples to oranges and oranges and et cetera, et cetera. i honestly have to say this is a brand that i would i would trust and i would buy from again so that's just coming straight you know for me and telling y'all this is probably the brand that i'm going to stick with versus any other brand out there i like the fact that the packages are resealable like I said, that just locks in the freshness. The less air these get exposed to, the longer the life expectancy of the aroma, the flavor, the taste, the potency, et cetera, et cetera, gets. So having a resealable bag, pretty simple and easy to open. Pretty, you know, standard when it comes to like the size of the pouches and all that, right? What's the technical term they're using? They're calling these filter bags. That's the technical term that they're using. But anyways, you get the idea. So I do like it. I do like the taste and the flavor. Let me grab a quick spoon here and just kind of mix these in because we're getting close to that five minute mark. If not, if not, we already passed it. But there's what your teas basically look like. There's what your bags look like. I do like the fact that these do float to the top. So you can kind of like push them back down, squeeze them, you know, get every last little uh, bit of, you know, savoriness and earthiness out of those tea bags. But you get the idea. So there's your chamomile. That's what that looks like. And then here's your sleep tea. That's what that looks like. And once again, just to show you the ingredients real quick. So the chamomile, of course, is just pure chamomile flowers. And then the sleep version is, there you go. Leaves of Melissa. I'm not going to read all these, but you can kind of take a screenshot, do whatever you got to do. You got the idea. Pretty simple and straightforward. Pretty easy. The taste is amazing. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of honey in them. You know, if I can get locally grown honey. Oh, awesome shout out to a buddy of mine whose name is Rocker. 
We both work in the movie industry. He, for some reason, he just decided to take up beekeeping as like a side hobby. And I have to tell you, his honey is just amazing. Locally grown, Southern California, Los Angeles area. It's just amazing. So whatever, anyways, the, the whole point of this is, anyways, whatever you can do if you're watching this video to find locally grown honey and harvested honey, more power to you because you obviously you're going to get more potent stuff. You're going to get something that's more natural. But tea with honey, what a great combination. Chamomile with sleep, what a great combination. Aprica Life, thank you for these products. You're, you're truly an amazing company. Like I said, I will totally recommend and buy from them again. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, there are links down below in the description section, so make sure to check those out. There's a link to both of these, and also, uh, when you do click on one or the other, you'll see the other teas that they do make, so that's a good thing. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Anyways, I'm the Old Coot, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.